So I'm working on this uh, 2006 M45. Now, a lot of stuff is already taken off. A lot of harness because I was going to do the motor. It has a rod knock. It's a vicious rod knock, and it's almost like a common problem. Um, let me show you guys the car. It's a really nice car, but so we got the Infinity M45. Um, I think it's a sports model. It doesn't matter, honestly. But you know the difference because this one has a 19 inch, 18 inches, the base model. So, um, I was actually going to just do the bearings. I saw a couple of people change the bearings only. I'm going to order these from, uh, uh, yeah, I was just going to change the rod bearings. Uh, ordered these off eBay. <laughs> you know. Uh, of course, putting them back. You want to lube them up. As you can see here, it's for bearings, cams, lifters, valves. You don't want to just dip them in regular motor oil. This stuff is supposed to do the trick. But anyway, I took my oil pan off without removing the engine, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> so what I did, <clears throat> pretty much took off the cross member. Um, I loosened up the, uh, or I took off the uh, engine mount bolts, and I just jacked it up from the transmission to get it high enough. Now, when doing that, you have to remove the oil pump bolts um, in order to get it off. Well, actually, like the strainer, it's not the pump, it's actually the oil strainer. It's here. Um, you have to remove it. It's two bolts here. It's a two 12s and a 10 millimeter here. You have to loosen it up while the pan is hanging. If not, you will never get it off. You know, you will never get it over that frame. Let's jack it up and it slides out now. Um, like I said, it's a rod knock. I haven't even looked to see which, uh, you know, which cylinder it is. I'm pretty sure it's more than one. But let me show you what's inside this pan. So I just cleaned out this oil pan here and just dumped the oil in it. But look at all this metal debris that right there is an indication of I think I'm going to change the whole motor um, that's a lot of metal shavings um, wow so honestly at this point I mean you do have the option I advise you to wear gloves when working on cars um, but uh, let me pick up some of this stuff look at this look at that like what the f this thing has went through some hell and it ripped up some shit. This is probably one of the bearings actually, um, cause it's kind of yeah that's what it looks like. That's what it feels like also. It's pretty thin. Looks like it was riding on nothing. So um, I'm actually going to uh, put it back together anyway because I already bought the bearings. I'm not going to send them back. They're like fifty bucks. <laughs> I'm going to uh, put the motor back together. I'm going to try to clean this thing out as uh, as good as possible. That is nasty. But you can tell that this was some of the bearing. Uh, it just wore out. Got really thin. Um, the form says that these things, um, these particular motors, that the oil pan, this little really deep in here, it's like not getting a, you know sufficient enough of oil it's like if the manual calls for six quarts you might as well put seven quarts you know overfill it a little bit or you can kind of modify it and find a a more um, shallow oil pan maybe that'll help but yeah don't have time or money for all that so i'll get out here and try to get on this thing when i can so yeah let's see God, you can see some scoring on the actual crank. Um, so, for sure, it's a rod knock. Um, we got cylinders one, two. I don't know if you can see up there. Let's see how it's facing one in there, or whatever. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if I grab cylinders one or two, right? There's no movement, no play, but look at this, look. You hear that? Look at that. Look at that. See that? 
there's your rod mount. So you can imagine with this thing going at, you know, 2,000, 1,500, 1,000 RPMs. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. So I may get lucky. We'll see what happens. Um, the other ones are not making noise. I'm change the bearings and all of them anyway. And uh, I'll make a part two video. Um, you know, to see if we got lucky. And once I take it off, I'm going to inspect the, the uh, crankshaft. See if it's all scored. Which it very may well, you know, very well maybe scored. Um, and uh, just going to hit that with a little sandpaper and a polished cloth and try to, uh, you know, clean it up a little bit. If it's a really rough surface, try to smoothen it out some. Um, so, yeah, part two coming uh, maybe a week or two because I work. And I only can do this damn thing on Sundays. But, yeah, there it is. And rod knock. Damn bearings, no more out. Not getting as sufficient enough oil, possibly. Man, just warm out. Look at that. That is fucking a lot of play. Oof. All right. I'll try to get back to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.